Have you ever wondered how radioactive isotopes decay? They can undergo alpha decay in which part of the nucleus is ejected. So that's two protons and two neutrons. This is your alpha particle. And this is pretty slow and heavy, so it can be stopped by a piece of paper. Now when this is ejected, a new atom is also created. For example, the breakdown of uranium-238 will give me an alpha particle and thorium-234. Now we can also undergo beta decay. So beta decay is when a neutron gets converted to a proton and an electron. So it's just really the electron that's the beta particle that will get ejected. It's faster and it can go through the depths of skin, but not too deep. And it can also be stopped by a sheet of aluminum. Now again, a new atom is created in this process. So for example, carbon-14 creates a beta particle and gets converted to nitrogen-14 um, because there's an extra proton now. So gamma decay doesn't create any new elements or atoms, it just gives off pure energy. So this is my gamma particle, which is photons of energy. So it's super dangerous and we need thick concrete walls to stop gamma particles. These are some examples of radioactive decay. Let me know if you have any questions and thanks for watching.